hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing something a little different. I have some vintage toys all the way from McDonald's from back in the 90s and early 2000s and the majority of them consists of Barbie and also Disney. There are a few others thrown in but I thought I'll start with those two big ones because that's what you've come for and then if you're curious to see what the other Disney toy or not Disney the other McDonald's toys are um you know stick around because there's a few other things that came as well because this was a big job lot like I got a big job lot um from eBay mostly consisting of McDonald's toys but there were also a few other little there was a few dolls thrown in as well so I'll show them too for you but anyway without further ado let's jump in and let's start with the I think let's start with the Barbie so we have this one here and this is skating Barbie and here she is and she came with this here so that you could have her doing tricks so that she's flying up and all so her hair is looking a bit messy but this actually came in the packet the rest of them didn't um, but this one did come in packet so she has her thing let me show you it can you stay there please and she's falling over so this, and I think it's just this, yeah, this is 2000. So these were the dolls you could have gotten 2000 if you went to McDonald's. Uh, so this is the one we got. <laughs> uh, and then we have these three here looking amazing. I think I also got this one, did I? No, I didn't. I got one similar to it. And each of them have a gimmick. So one, you can do your hair. Uh, then there was the one I got where she could ski it and then one comes with a comb and one comes with nail stickers so yeah they're all very very cute um I would have loved to go I didn't get any of the other three but I would love to go her with the hair um or hmm, maybe her at the back that does the nails she looks quite cool I don't know if the camera's not really going to show you but they're very very cute if I, I'll see if I can take like a photo or something of them to show um if i remember anyway i think this is an older one this is 1995 mattel isn't she gorgeous hold on is the camera gonna show you isn't she beautiful she's got like the flower and like i guess it's like a wand and there's butterflies on her dress and there's glitter on her dress and it's nice hard plastic and then there's her hair so all these dolls i gave them a wash when i received them because they're all kind of dirty on it so I've given them all a wash and their hair brush but obviously um the hair is amazing quality because it's, it's McDonald's <laughs> uh it's a, it was meant to be a freebie so but I mean considering that this is quite old the hair is not too bad you know it's still got a bit of a wave in it which is pretty impressive um so yeah she's really really cute I think she's one of my favorites um so yeah she's one of the older ones and then we have this bundle here hold on I grab all of these so got all of these ones so I'm not sure what these the Barbies are meant to be that they represent if I can find out I'll put like pictures beside them to show what Barbies are meant to represent because I think they're meant to represent real life full size Barbies so we have this girl here he's like a sporty Barbie and the top the jacket it has a hood on it and it does come off and the trousers come off as well and she's also got real hair the hat doesn't come off though and neither do the shoes for any of them so I got quite a few of these dolls and I'll show you actually what she looks like if you take the clothes off because obviously I had to take the clothes off to wash them and the dolls so this is what she looks like without the clothes on so she still looks very very sporty um but yeah so that's her so we've got sporty Barbie in her get up and then we have uh this really cool one who's got like urban urban I can't speak like kind of reddish hair she's really really pretty uh so yeah that's her so the top and trousers are molded on but the jacket can come off so she's very very pretty so she is and i love her hair it's so so pretty and then she's got these boots as well so yeah she's awesome uh, and that's the thing i think other than sporty barbie i think most of them have heels this one doesn't so this is an exception but she's got like boots on so she's got like a hair accessory it made brushing her hair a nightmare <laughs> so it had to work around the hair accessory so um but yes yeah, she's really really pretty and she's got this purple and white dress with like a yellow stripe down it which looks like it's meant to be there 
so I don't know, <laughs> a bit weird though. And then she's got purple bits on as well. So she is looking very, very pretty. Uh, <laughs> this is so random though, it doesn't really suit her. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming it's maybe to like represent maybe like the, um, you know, the Barbies where you do their hair. I can't remember what they're called. Um, and then there's this one here. He's like giving sort of like Dutch vibes. <laughs> she must be like one to represent like one of the round the world Barbies I'm thinking. And her hair, despite all the years, still have the pigtails in. Um, and then she's got the hats. And the skirt is fabric, but the top is moulded on. And she's got really <laughs> the clogs. So yeah, definitely Dutch. <laughs> so yeah, she is adorable. And that's what the back looks like as well. And does she have any writing on her? I think they usually have the writing on the legs. Um, let me see, Mattel, 1995. So yeah, she's one of the older ones as well. And then we have this artist one. And she is, I'm trying to read it, it's hard, 1999 I believe. So she's like artist Barbie and you can take the apron off and that's what she's got underneath the apron. Uh, and then she's got, it looks like she should be holding a paintbrush but she's not. As you can see it's just her hand like that so I don't know. Was she? I think maybe the paintbrush maybe broke off or something. It was a wee bit weird just having her hand like that so it must be the paintbrush at some point. And then she's got actual paint, well, a uh, sticker with paints on it. And I'm assuming her hair should be tied up because, you know, she's going to be painting. I know whenever I'm crafting, the hair goes up. But yeah, and the, the apron's really, really cute. I like that they have given the Barbies, like, at least one piece of fabric. And so it's not all just plastic. And they've tried to still give them realistic hair. So then we have this glamorous purple one. So again, beautiful, black, nice long hair, and the skirt is fabric, but the top is molded on. It's got like this like star effect. Oh, I can see me show you. So yeah, nice like star effect, and then she's got silver heel heels on, and she is, she hasn't got any markings on her. I don't think no. So I'm not sure what age she is, but she's very very cute. And then she must be the most humble because I am not with four of her from this job lot. There's like four others of her, so she must be the most common Barbie you could get. She's got green in her hair. I don't know if you can tell, but there's green highlights in her hair. And she's got this really cute outfit on with the dungarees. And she is from 1999, I believe. It's hard to tell because it's like molded into the plastic, so it's kind of hard to see. But yeah, she's very, very cute and she seems to be a very common one. And then we have another absolutely gorgeous one. I love her as well. I think she's another one of my favourites. She's got this beautiful, beautiful dress. Um, so obviously she's, she's like an Asian type. Um, so again, I'm wondering maybe she's like another one of the Around the World Barbies that we had all those years. Um, because she is gorgeous. And, but she's wearing, okay, so she's wearing like uh, ear appropriate kind of clothes with like the or shoes that are like sandals. And look at the hair as well. The hair is such beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. So yeah, she's one of my favorites, definitely. Uh, and does it say for her? No, it doesn't, but yeah, she's, she's really cute. And then I ended up with two of these ones as well. So she must be another common. But she's very glamorous so she's got this dress on that's fabric and you can take it off and um, can I remember what's underneath I think it was just like white shorts at the top um but yeah she's got the hats and the hair and she's got a, a purse I believe that is the, the paint is starting to flake off it unfortunately and then she's got these like high heel shoes which are looking a little bit worse for wear it's a good thing I own two of these, so I'll have to see which one's the best condition. Also, if you hear noise in the background, I apologise. I think my neighbour's gardening. <laughs> so that's fun, <laughs> but yeah. So if you hear that, I am so, so sorry. Hopefully I can block it out. Um, I'm in my, my crafting's in my garage, so it's sort of like outside. So it means when my neighbours are working on stuff, the noise kind of travels, unfortunately. I'll have to see if I can find a way to sort of 
stop that noise but anyway carrying on this is this barbie looking very glamorous again not sure what she's from or not and she doesn't have anything on her just to give a date and then the final barbie is this one here totally hair that was what i was thinking of it's totally hair barbie <laughs> was what i was thinking of just thinking of her with a brush kind of just in memory so i put her hair up so i did um i feel like that was what i was meant to do so it has like a fake mirror here you can't actually see anything in it and yeah she's posing she's really really nice um so yeah she's pretty she doesn't have any fabric but um i think she's absolutely gorgeous i don't mind and she's got like a choker and then like a pink tutu and all so she's looking very very pretty so yeah loving her it looks like she's like standing on her vanity it's a bit weird so yeah those are all the barbies um and then i got so much disney so we'll start with um all the Milan ones I got. So I got Milan's horse and I I had this one as a child so this is very nostalgic for me to have again and what you're meant to do is you're meant to twist this and then the legs will go and he'll go across the table. Unfortunately I tried it with him and he isn't working so that's just him but he's still very very handsome so I will happily keep him. He's adorable. Uh, and then we have uh, the Huns, <laughs> the bad guy. Uh, and yeah, there's like a wee thing at the back so you can get the birds, the hawk's wings of that. And then you've got his sword as well, so that's really awesome. Uh, and yeah, he's got good articulation, so he does. So there is the bad guy. And then, sticking with that, we have her friends. Uh, and yeah, this is from, this will be whenever the movie just came out. Doesn't have the date, it just says it's from Disney. Um, so I believe you pull these and then it must run across I'm assuming while he tries to catch up. So yeah, there's the three friends, um, his names I can't remember. His head moves but that's about it. I don't think the rest of them have any articulation at all. So <laughs> they're very interesting. Um, and then I love this one. This is Mushu and so there's things in the back so that if you pull his hand back hold on it makes a noise i feel like it should be louder than that but i don't know it does make a noise which is really cool so yeah, when you move his head it kind of hits there's like a bell inside so that's really really cute so yeah i really love that one i think that's really cool and then do i have any more milan i think that's it oh no i have my man he's looking really cool i feel like he's supposed to do something because of the way this arm is so I'm thinking he must have come with something, but unfortunately he doesn't have it anymore. Um, but yeah, it feels like everything's... Okay, so is it meant to be like that? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what he was supposed to do. I have to look that up. So it must be like, he must be holding something and then maybe it was like the stick. <laughs> but yeah, he's very, very handsome as usual. So there is our guy. So I think that's all the banana ones. And then we'll move on to uh, Aladdin. So we have bad guy in that. Uh, so unfortunately some of the paints come off his nose. So he's clearly got a black nose. Um, and then he's got his arms. And I think they're like attached to the cape. So it's the look dramatic. So yeah, we have that. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you push it down, I think. And then there's a button. <laughs> this needs our McDonald's toys just be so cool. Like, look at that. So there he is looking very dramatic so i love him and then we have this bottle here or bottle <laughs> we have this lamp and if we rub it <laughs> the genie comes out so what you do is this here bit you twist it and the genie comes out like i nearly broke this trying to work out i could figure out that you could open this but i couldn't figure out how so i was nearly like breaking it trying to work it out thinking you have to twist this bit and then i finally realized it's the bottom you twist so thankfully i worked it out before i ended up breaking it so that is really cool i love that uh, and then do i have anything else yes i do i have this like wobbly one of her dad there he is looking very cool so he like wobbles about he's looking very peaceful and then like i wash these like couple days ago and they're still a little bit dark some bases which is kind of worrying because i don't want it to get into like the metal of it so we'll have to like maybe give it a wee go with the hairbrush or something but yeah then we have jasmine and aladdin on their magic carpet so i'm assuming this is one of those ones that like yeah you like pull back and then it should go flying so, 
there they are their face paint is so dodgy looking I got three of these in the pack and I was like comparing and going which one's the best out of the three and all three of them look weird <laughs> so yeah like this is the best out of the three like just to give you an idea of how wonky and weird they are but I feel like if you look at them from far away they're cute so maybe if I just display them really far away I'll get away it'll, it'll be fine so yeah that was all of Aladdin and then do you remember the Goofy movie that made us all cry I have two of the characters from it. I have Goofy himself with like a uh, fishing rod and then we have his son. I think it's his son isn't it? Dressed up for the for whenever he goes to the show and he can like move his arms. So yeah. <laughs> that maybe was so sad. <laughs> so it was. Um, and then this is my most favourite one. I think this is part of the reason I ended up getting all up because of this single doll. So, who do you think it is? It's Gina. Isn't she amazing? I have so little merchandise of her, like so little. So anytime I see anything like Kita related, I get so excited. Um, like at the moment, I only have her limited edition doll that Disney Store did because she went on sale. When she first came out, when she was like 110 pounds, I was like, I can't afford her. And then she went on sale down to like, I can't remember, it was like 40 I think, or something like that. So I purchased her then. So I'm really happy to finally have a Kita doll. But if I wanted like the Playline doll, I just, there's no way I could ever afford a Playline doll. Because they only released the doll when the movie was released and then that was it. They didn't do anything else for her. But at least we, I know I have this to add to my very, very small Atlantis collection. And she looks amazing. And I believe what you're meant to do is... She's meant to be holding this, but it doesn't stay in her hand, and then you push the button, and I guess she like holds it up in the air. But like I said, it won't stay in the hand, unfortunately. But yeah, I came with this, and also the mask, which she can move up and down. And because she also came in a bag, so her happy meal thing is this. And does it give the date? 2001. So these were all the characters you could get. So yeah, I'll see if I can get a photo of this so you can see it in better detail. But yeah, they all look absolutely amazing. So they do, but obviously Kita was all I want the most, so I'm really happy to have her. But yeah, there we go. So, and then finally for Disney, I have a few miscellaneous ones. So I have these ones, which technically aren't McDonald's, these are Burger King. Now, I never really add a Burger King because it always gave me a sore stomach. Um, but yeah, we have this here. Um, Miss Potato Head. They must have done like a Miss Potato Head kind of merch thing. 1998. So that would have been about the first movie I think. So there's Mr. Potato Head and then we have this one here. And he's like moving up and down. Uh, I don't think I'll keep these. As much as I like Miss Potato Head, I don't think I love them enough to have merchandise of them. I'll see if mom wants them and not I'll just sell them on. And then we have this one. I imagine this would be like attached dollars. Um, but yeah, he sort of like knows about, and what's that say? Hasbro. Hmm. And uh, this is also Burger King, so yeah, the head pieces kind of all move about, as you can see. And um, yeah, it's, it's pretty strange, but here we go. There's Mr. Potato Head. And then, uh, finally, we have, I remember getting this as a child and loving it. I believe these were meant to be like stamps. So you have the stamp of the bomb, so there's the castle. And there's Donald Duck and then you got different characters and they would all attach to these here and each one had a different stamp and all so I remember that I remember owning some of them but I can't remember who I owned but yeah this is 1999 so yeah I would have been five at the time I would have been starting primary school so yeah four or five um but yes yeah, so there we go and then we have miscellaneous ones so we have a couple of McDonald's characters we have this, I don't know who the doll's characters are, so I'm just going to show them to you and if you want, you can let me know who they are. So he's, his head moves, or his hair, and then we have this girl who, I guess she like moves about, kind of creepy, so her feet move and her mouth moves. And then we have this little dude, this little alien. So I got those three for McDonald's, but I don't think I'll be keeping them because I'm not really into collecting the characters from the novel and then finally I have um what's it called something the big red doll 
Clifford, was that it? Clifford the big red dog. So I had like the bodies of plushy and the heads hard on her. And I had definitely had these two when I was a child, so this is really fun to have them again. Uh, so yes, this was 1998. Oh my goodness. <laughs> is that how old Clifford is? Oh, I used to love watching that as a child, so yeah. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'll keep her. Sorry. But I think I'm kind of tempted to keep Clifford because he's so cute. Like, look at him. <laughs> I might keep him. But then I feel bad separating them. Oh, I missed two from the Milan. There was two more from Milan. I missed them. Um, we have our little dog. His name, I cannot remember. Little brother, that was it. Little brother. And I guess it's that. So that's quite cute. Uh, and then we also have um, the little Ryu Cricket. And I think what you're meant to do is twist this and then he would move about. But unfortunately, again, the mechanism broke. But he's still very cute just to have. So yeah, there's two more from Milan. <laughs> um, and yeah, so that was all of our dolls toys. And then I'll quickly show you the dolls that came in the bundle as well, just randomly. I don't own any, I think these are enchantables, I don't own any, uh, and I'm kind of tempted to keep some of them because they're so cute, but I don't know, so I don't think I'll keep her, she's the one that's moving like a sheep, so she's missing an ear, she's missing her shoes and her skirt, um, I love the cow one, I'm kind of tempted to keep the cow because I grew up on a farm with cows, so <laughs> it's kind of tempting to keep her because she's adorable and she also comes with everything she's got her shoes she's got her skirt and yes so she's in great condition so i might keep her she's also really pretty so i might have to see if i can find her a skirt or make her one because i'm kind of tempted to keep her as well i've no idea who these characters are like i said i don't collect chantables but now that i have them i'm kind of feel tempted just to keep them all uh, which is crazy because I don't have the room. She's adorable. I love this pink one. I don't think this is the skirt for her. Uh, so let me know who this skirt's meant to belong to and what skirt she's meant to have. But she is beautiful. I'd love to get her actual outfit. And same for this one. I don't think this is her skirt. But she's gorgeous as well. Like I didn't know they did like uh, fantasy creatures. Um, she's very very cute. But yeah there we go. And then I got randomly three fly pockets as well. So they're very cute, one of them being Snow White. <laughs> so yeah, three of the old Polly Pockets. So that's very cute. I, I never say no to Polly Pocket. But there we go, guys. That is my McDonald's haul. <laughs> so, so random. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. I will def I need to find a way to get the dolls to stand because some of them have come with stands, but others of the Barbies haven't. So I don't know how I'm going to get to the stand. I know it can be the blue tack. Maybe just lean them on something. I don't know. I'll work it out. Well, I have a lot of like miniature Barbies from different things from up here on this side, which you can't see. So I might display them there alongside them. Um, it's also where we can find mini extra dolls and all. So um, yeah, so I might display them there. And then I also have um, Milan doll in box and um, a Captain Lee Shine doll in box. So. Maybe I'll display the, some of the um, Milan ones around them too. That'd be cute. We'll see. <laughs> anyway, this video will end up being longer than I was planning, so apologies for that. But hopefully um, you went down a bit of nostalgia lane with me. A lot of you hopefully remember them dolls. And all of them are like, yes, I remember that. I think some of the Barbie dolls are a bit before my time. Um, or at the very least, because I was born in 94 and some of them are like dated at 95 and all, so I was literally one years old when they were released so I will obviously wouldn't remember them um but they're absolutely adorable and I'm very very happy to have them in my collection so there we go there is my haul on McDonald's and I absolutely love it I'm very happy with it and let me know which one was your favorite what do you what toy do you remember from your childhood getting from McDonald's that you absolutely loved uh, and probably have in your collection now or would love to get in your collection one that I would love was Totally Spies when they released some toys and McDonald's. I love them. There was like a compact one that I remember being obsessed with as a child and constantly playing with and pretending to be one of the members of Totally Spies with this compact. Um, so yeah, that's one I would love to get again. Um, but yeah, let me know what's one would you absolutely love to own <laughs> um, from your McDonald's days. 
and yeah i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to leave a like and if you want to see more random videos from me uh make sure to subscribe because goodness knows what my next video will be about <laughs> anyway i will see you in the next video until then bye